Brad, how you doing? I, it is uh, it is good to uh, to see you today, Daryl. Um, just a little jet lagged uh, from our vacation. Um, nice. I thought uh, I would recover uh, instantaneously, but uh, I uh, found out that uh, I don't work that way anymore, and it takes several days. So, um, well, when you but, when uh, you travel that far, you got to give yourself time to recover, man. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think maybe sometimes I'm uh, overly ambitious with those ideas, and uh, that didn't uh, right. that didn't play out. So I was uh, a bit tired for the last several days, but it's great uh, to be here uh, conversing today, and good to see you as always. Yeah. And uh, well, likewise. Uh, today, um, I, I wanted to, uh, it's been on my mind, so I wanted to, to talk uh, a little bit about it because I think it's interesting to entrepreneurs and particularly entrepreneurs of small and mid-sized companies. Um, the topic uh, is, is uh, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Um, I don't know. I think it's a good topic. So... Um, uh, and, and let me let me preface this a little bit. Just because uh, you're able to go down some some hole doesn't mean you should, kind of thing, right? They like don't right. chase the rabbit down the hole or the squirrel right. as entrepreneurs do uh, very well. Um, you know, sometimes uh, business leaders get caught up in growth for growth's sake. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that uh, on their mind they think they have to grow at all moments of all time. And if they're not moving, then somehow they're going backwards. I don't know that that's the case. And so some uh, acquisitions, sometimes you'll get bank financing. They're willing to extend a loan, uh, extend a loan to buy a company or uh, do, do something of the similar. Um, sometimes it's best to not. And what I mean by that, Daryl, is that there's a, a time and a, and a place, there's a cadence that businesses can grow. Mm -hmm. There is a rate of absorption of growth that it can tolerate, that the organization can tolerate, both from capital structure, uh, meaning that it shouldn't layer on too much debt to do these just because the bank's willing to lend money to do an acquisition doesn't necessarily mean you should because... Mm -hmm. Uh, every time you layer on a, a debt, you're actually increasing risk. Mm. And so we have to look at that risk side of the equation as well as the growth side. Um, so um, I describe uh, often, and you've heard me do this, that uh, the business growth should be a, a series of J-curves, much like a staircase where you get to each landing for each stair, but then typically do a larger landing every so many stairs, whatever, a dozen or so stairs. Right. And well, uh, there's purpose for that in staircase. There's also purpose for that in business. And um, I think we get up ahead uh, of ourselves out to, over our skis to, uh, uh, as an expression, <laughs> because um, while in our mind, maybe we're, we're there, the systems in the organization and the people in the organization haven't caught up. And oftentimes the finances haven't uh, caught up. The cash uh, generation hasn't caught up with the growth or the investment. And sometimes those pauses along the way allow that, that catch up and, and de-risk the business and increase the potential for success. So there's some value in seizing the day and there's some value in saying, well, wait a minute, uh, we have a plan. We need to execute on that plan, run the playbook. And then we can layer on additional complications, acquisitions, debt, whatever it happens to be. Right. Um, so my, my theming is just because their bank's willing to let you the money doesn't mean you should take it. Just right. because there's a shiny object out there doesn't mean you should chase it. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you shouldn't, but you should take pause in is where's my organization at? How healthy is it? What's the level of risk? What are my people capable of? Does this rate of change sit uh, in the uh, space of appropriate for where my company is at the moment? And you should have peace with that and not be chasing growth for growth's sake. Understood. I think you are covering a couple of grounds where you said entrepreneurs, we chase rabbit holes and we 
are definitely guilty of that, right? New marketing tool that comes out, new software yeah. here and yeah. there, business says, hey, yeah. would you like to buy my company? And I think that's a lot of what you're talking about. And, and it so is. You're right. Your it is. We we um we do. I I I call it often. Uh, you'll hear me saying, you know, chasing squirrels, right? There, there, oops, right. There's a squirrel, right? Right. And um, that's um, uh, I think entrepreneurs do that because they think they're supposed to. Mm. Mm. And mm. I actually don't agree with that. I do think sometimes you have to seize the opportunity. You have to move quickly, and and but from a a long-term predictable success standpoint, I think there's a methodical, disciplined approach that allows you to grow and achieve the uh, business dreams size-wise, profitability-wise, et cetera, that you'd like, and does it in a de-risked fashion that sometimes this moving is so quickly uh, likens itself to uh, making many, many errors and Small business, um, I think, can't generally tolerate that. Hmm. So over leverage, one of them, uh, going into acquisitions, anticipating that there's no hiccups and there's always hiccups. There's always something. Everything takes twice as much time and twice as much money than we initially think. I wish you were so wrong about that statement. <laughs> uh, it, it's, but it's true, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> it's true. It is. It's easy to draw it out on a chalkboard. Let me tell you. <laughs> right. But the execution of it for whatever reason, generally with a few exceptions takes longer. Yeah. So um, these, these built in um, pauses along the way allows things to catch up. It allows cash to write. So you've heard of companies Growing themselves broke, that's that's a term, right? That mm -hmm. we've we've heard. Yep. Well, that's an actual thing. Because in growth, um, typically in most businesses, we're extending some type of credit to the customers. It's not paid for cash. So as we grow accounts receivable, it's actually um putting a strain on cash. And so until we slow that down periodically, the cash has to it, it gives that it doesn't catch up. Mm -hmm. So by, by that, just hitting a, a landing for a period of time, I'm not saying stay there forever, just stay there periodically. You catch up, everything ba rebalances, and then you can move forward. And so uh, I guess my, my ask today is uh, to think uh, before you step off the curb mm. and uh, just, just, just think, look both ways, think, take a breath. And uh, I think you'll have better results. Great advice. Great advice. That's all I got today, Daryl. <laughs> Sounds good. Great advice as always, Brad. Um, we move too fast. You're just saying, hey, listen, don't not take it, but just make sure you're looking left, looking right, and look at the overall picture, and not every opportunity has to be seized today. Um, super advice. Appreciate your insight as always. Uh, 15 years now advising growth companies, uh, small and mid midsize on, on top of uh, your multiple uh exits uh so well advised and well said my friend uh it's a pleasure uh thanks for uh the discussion today and uh yeah fun it's fun stuff uh i i just really enjoy working with entrepreneurs on a daily basis and i enjoy being one and having you as our advisor appreciate you very good <laughs>